Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm your host, Kyle Brotherson. This is Dirt Bike Channel, and today we're talking two strokes versus four strokes, but I think this is gonna be a little bit different spin on it than you've ever heard before. Stick around. So I still get a ton of questions on my email and my social media about two stroke versus four stroke. Just before I get into this too deep though, see this shirt right here? I am going to be selling shirts like this and hats like this and tie downs and all kinds of cool stuff because a bike just like this one is gonna be given away. This video should come out on October 4th and October 15th, I'm starting a giveaway where I'm giving away two bikes, a 2020 KTM 300 XC TPI, this one's the 250 version. And I'm also gonna give away a 2019 KTM 250 XC. It's a 60 day sweepstakes. Uh, details will all be up on dirtbikechannel.com on October 15th. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But enough of that. I get a ton of questions about two stroke versus four stroke. And I have now been doing this long enough that I have a, a little bit of a unique perspective on this. And some of you guys think that I'm only a two stroke guy. I actually spend about 60, maybe 65%, 70 tops of my, of my time on a two stroke, but that still leaves between 30 and 40% of, of the time that I'm riding on the four strokes. And they're absolutely great. Both bikes are great. The thing with this is just, it's a different, they're a different type of a tool. So I wanna to explain to you today how I have come to believe, how I've come to feel about the two stroke versus the four stroke and which one I have more fun on. It's important to also point out that this is all about fun. I ride dirt bikes for fun. I don't ride dirt bikes to win some purse or something in a motocross race or an enduro cross race. I ride dirt bikes for fun, so I wanna ride the bike that is the most fun for me to ride. And I have a blast when I'm riding a four-stroke dirt bike, especially this four-stroke. This one, half the time I'm riding it, I'm just giggling and I'm grinning ear to ear and I just, I love it. So I have a ton of fun. I mean, it's a dirt bike after all. The thing is though is, some of the time, and I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but this is how I feel. Some of the time when I'm on a four stroke, I, I feel kind of like I'm going to a beach party, but I'm dressed more like I'm going to the boardroom. And there's just a little bit of this overdressed feeling that I have. And yeah, I can get to that party and I can still have a blast. I can still, you know, run through the beach and get in the sand and do all this stuff. But I just, I just feel like I'm a little bit, a little overdressed for the occasion sometimes, sometimes when I'm on the four strokes. And it just kind of is in the back of my mind. It's weighing on my mind like, am I dressed right for this occasion? Especially um, with the concept of, you know, what I know I feel like when I'm on the two stroke. So yeah, I have a ton of fun on these things, uh, but I, I feel kind of like I'm dressed for the boardroom. I mean, who hasn't done this? Seriously, boom, we are ready to roll, son. And then those days that I come back to the two stroke, I just feel like I'm coming home. And for some odd reason, I'm still going to that same beach party, but I feel a, little, a lot more comfortable with the way that I'm dressed. I see everybody else having fun, and I'm like, oh, I'm dressed the part. I just, it just makes me feel like I'm going to that party dressed in the flip-flops and the board shorts and the tank top, ready to have some fun. And because of that, I end up having a little bit more fun on these bikes, on the two strokes, than I do on the four strokes overall. You know, and it's it's not anything super scientific. I think it's just because, you know, for the type of riding that I like to do, the two stroke is maybe just the right tool and so it makes me feel like I'm dressed appropriately. It's also maybe just um, that it speaks to my soul a little bit more. And I'm more of the guy that wants to be, you know, on the boat than at the boardroom. And that's just kind of what the two stroke does for me. It just speaks to me that in that way. I get it. I know we all want data and we want some scientific uh, thing to, to prove why the two stroke or the four stroke is better, but it really just comes down to this. Which one is more fun for the type of riding that you're doing and which one is more fun for you? And the two stroke isn't the funnest bike for everyone. It is for me, generally speaking, but it, not, it might not be for you. It might be this Beta 390RR over here because that is a fun factory right there. So these bikes are just for fun and I choose to ride, I choose to spend the most amount of time on the bike that is the most fun for me and that tends to be the two stroke. I know it's not scientific, but that's just how I feel. And I think a lot of people should look at it more that way. It's just be like, hey, look, let's ride both in the scenarios that I wanna ride, you know, find a buddy that has a four stroke, find a buddy that has a two stroke and swap back and forth and realize the bike might not be set up for you. The best way to kind of settle this is for you to have two. I know not everyone can do that, but if you can have a four stroke and a two stroke, you can kind of get to see their little idiosyncrasies and little things about, you know, each platform 
that are better suited for one type of riding than the other. And you know, you just kind of go with that. Um, I love the two-stroke and four-stroke debate. I like them both. I, I love them both. Um, I could ride that Beta 390 for a long time, and if it was my only bike, I would just kind of have to adjust some of the hard enduro stuff that I do to be able to make sure I can keep the bike running. But overall, I love them both. There is no right or wrong answers. They're just different tools for different purposes, and they are a ton of fun. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you click the ringing bell to uh, make sure that you're part of the notification squad uh, when these videos come out. If you wanna support me, you can go over to Patreon. I've got a, uh, a Patreon page over there where you can do a monthly tip amount. You can also just do PayPal on my website. You can PayPal a donation there. And these dirt bike sweepstakes are gonna be coming up. This this bike, well, it's it's this, this bike's brother or sister is gonna be given away, so watch for that. That's a great way to support me is by buying a uh, product that way. Also, I just started a podcast, so you can find me on iTunes and Google Play and Stitcher and all of those major podcast directories. You'll find me there at Stirt Bike Channel uh, Podcast, and I'm trying to put out a mix of content up over there. Uh, so go ahead and check that out. Uh, should be some interesting content for you to listen to while you're going to work or from, you know, to or from work or to or from the trail, something like that. So anyway, um, hope that you guys enjoy that content and we'll see you around. I can't help but feel a little bit exposed like this with my toes. I don't have anything covering my toes and that has me that has me a little bit worried, but I can still get into my attack position, grip the bike, got the skin on plastic right here. That really helps. You know, it's gonna be a little warm. Actually, that's gonna be the advantage of riding the two-stroke when you're dressed like this, is it's not gonna burn the crap out of you as much. Because those four strokes get freaking hot when you're wearing shorts like this, dude. Seriously, you gotta be careful. Mm -hmm.